Hello everyone, how are you today? So yesterday we learned tell time two minutes. Today we will be learning time intervals. What's a time interval? It, it, it is how many minutes has passed from the starting time until we reach the ending time. We can calculate it by minutes or by hours. Go to page 665 in your book and let's go through example number one together. Evan's mother put biscuits in the oven at 5.10 p.m. She took them out of the oven at 5.27 p.m. How much time passed from the time she put the biscuits in the oven to the time she took them out? First, what do we need to find? We need to find the time passed from a starting time until an ending time. We said, what do we call this? We call it the time interval. So we need to find the time interval from 5.10 to 5.27. To 5 first, the first step is to find the starting time. What is the starting time? It's 5.10 p.m. Then the second step, find the ending time. The ending time is 5.27 p.m. Now, our third step is is to skip count by fives from 510 here the long hand is on 2 which is 10 minutes 5 10 5 10 10 minutes so we will start from from 10 minutes and we will skip count by 5 until we reach 525 so let's see where's 525 let's continue counting that's 5 10 15 20 25 so 25 is 5 now let's skip count from 10 until we reach 25 5 10 15 so we've reached 15 minutes now let's count by one minute by ones until we reach 27 from 525 to 527 525 526 527 these are two minutes so let's add all the minutes that we counted together let's go back see how many fives did we count five one how many fives did we count one two three so we have three fives look here we can show it on the number line look at this number line it shows the time interval we have from 510 to 515 that's five minutes plus 515 to 520 that's another five minutes then from 520 to 525 that's a third five minutes then from 525 to 527 that's two minutes so we need to add them all together to find the total minutes so we have five plus five plus five plus two what is the total? 5 plus 5 is 10. 10 plus 5, 15. 15 plus 2 is 17. So 17 minutes has passed from 5.10 to 5.27. The time interval was 17 minutes. Let's move to example 2. The clock shows... The time June's chore practice ended in the afternoon. So this is the ending time, which is 3.15 or 15 minutes past 3. If it was 135 minutes long, what time did it start? So again, let's put here, this is the ending time. Do we know the starting time? No. Starting time is 
unknown, we don't know it. But we know that the practice was for how long? 135 minutes. So now we're not gonna add, we need to subtract, we need to count back 135 minutes from the from the from the 3 15 p.m. using the number line. Before we do that, let's take a look at this helpful hint. It says that 60 minutes is one hour. That's a very important hint that you need to always keep in mind. 60 minutes is one hour. Now let's count back. We will start by removing the 15 minutes first. So 135 minus 15 is 5 minus 5. We always start with the ones. 0, 3 minus 1, 2, and we'll keep the 1 as it is. So from 315 to 3, that is 15 minutes. Then we will remove an hour. Remember, an hour is 60 minutes. So 120. Remember the um, repeated subtraction, but this time we're not repeating the same number. 120 minus 60. 0 minus 0, 0. 2 minus 6. Can we do that? No, we need to regroup. We're going to take from the hundreds. It will be 0 and the tens will be 12. 12 minus 6 is 6. So we've passed one whole hour, which is 60 minutes. So the 3 will be 2. So it's 2 o'clock now. Now, are we done? No, we still have another 60 minutes. So 60 minus 60 is 0, 0. So we've reached zero. So we finished all the minutes that has passed. So from two o'clock, it will be one o'clock. So what time was the starting time of the practice? Yes, it was one o'clock. The practice has started at one. The time interval for the chore was 135 minutes or it was what 135 it was 60 which is one hour and another 60 which is another one hour so that makes what one hour plus one hour two hours and we had what let's go back we had one hour one hour and 15 minutes so that's a total of two hours and 15 minutes. So the time interval is 135 minutes or two hours and 15 minutes. So 135 minutes before 315 is 1 p.m. The chore practice started at 1 p.m. Moving to the guided practice. Find the time interval of a movie. Use the number line. Now it says that the starting time is 5 minutes past 3. And the ending time is 40, uh, 35 minutes past four. How did they know that? Let's count them together. The hour hand is on the three. The minute hand is on the one, which is when we skip count by five, five. So the start time is three or five minutes past three or three zero five. And the ending time, the end time is the hour hand is between four and five so it's four and the uh, let's count how many minutes five 
10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. So it's 4, 35. Now, what is the time interval? We will start by counting from 3, from 3, 0, 5 until 4, 0, 5 or 5 minutes past 4. We have 1 hour, which is 60 minutes. Then from 5 minutes past 4 until 35 minutes past 4, we have how many minutes? Let's count them. Uh, we will start from 5. 5. Let's start here until we reach the blue hand. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So we have 30 minutes. So we have 1 hour and 30 minutes. The time interval is 1 hour and 30 minutes. Or let's just calculate it in minutes. 60 minutes plus 30 minutes. 0 plus 0, 0. 6 plus 3, 9. So it's 1 hour, 30 minutes, or it has a total of 90 minutes. Here again, we have here 60 minutes plus 30 minutes equals 90 minutes, or it, it, it is 1 hour and 30 minutes. Now, let me ask you a question. Loop took a nap. At the time shown, look at the time shown. So, Luke took a nap at the time shown and woke up at 1.30 p.m. or 30 minutes past 1. Explain how can you find how long he slept. I want you to send me the answer on Class Dojo. Now, go solve your, your independent practice on the next page and don't forget your homework is also on Kahoot and you will find the link in the weekly plan.